Jess here. So I am ready to open up my day 23 and day 24, my last two gifts for our Scrappy Advent Calendar. So today, the 24th, we are having a lovely Christmas lunch with my family. So we're going over to Katie's house. Some of my extended family, my aunt and uncle will be there as well going to be able to have a swim in the pool it's going to be a really 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 lovely day so I don't have long I'm just going to quickly open these up while Matt has the boys occupied and see what we've got so day 23 my very last purchased gift I decided uh, on the what the 21st that I think my kits might be finished so this might be something completely different but I don't I don't know it feels like it's got like cardboard or something inside so let's open it up and have a look it's obviously 12 by 12 size so it's yeah I don't know what could it be Katie will put up a video of her last purchase gift oh something from crepe paper but um I think that will go up on the 25th uh, even though she will have technically got it on the 24th, I think it will go up on the 25th. Sorry about the glare. Ah, oh, cute. I was wrong. My kid is not finished. The chipboard. I really do love this collection. Um, I think in terms of the chipboard, I've pretty much used everything I had left. I think I've saved... Maybe the brother piece, because I wanted to use that on a picture of my boys. But I think nearly everything else has been used. I'm just having a look. I'm pretty sure I've used basically everything. So this is exciting. So this kit, kit number one, has got... I know we've looked at this already, so I'll just do it quickly. I thought it was finished, but it is not. We've got chipboard, ephemera, hearts, and stickers. We've got some six by six papers. We've got some 12 by 12 papers and the um, vellum. And then some Vicky Booten. I assume that's what this is. I hope that's what this is because I've been saying that every time. Watercolor background papers. I have got so much here. I can make a hundred layouts with the amount of stuff I've got here. This is incredible. So, kit number one is done. Kit number two is done. Now we just need to open up my homemade layer so to recap on what i got in the advent calendar i got two beautiful kits with kit number one being the cool kid crepe paper collection mostly with a few little um different bits and pieces the illustrated fake hearts and then um doll stickers they're called sorry they'll be glary i'm sure then I got the Vicky Booten collection in kit number two. Then I got the pop-up bin, rubbish bin, which I can bring out, but is chocolate lock full. Pop-up rubbish bin and the acetate. And I got the Coco Vanilla collection, Love Always collection. So I have been well and truly spoiled in our advent calendar this year and i know i actually have a little bit more to come um my get my day 25 gift is also crafty related so we'll have to wait and see uh what that is this is a little bit of my number i want to keep that because i've been using these numbers in my december daily put that back on there all right there we go can't even tell and last layout so this is going to be july um which is my husband's birthday matt's birthday so let's wait and see what is this a picture of 
My Jack is very, very similar to Matthew. Thomas is much more like me, but still very like his father. So I'll see what she has chosen, what photo she has chosen to use. That's kind of not relevant to the picture choice, just a bit of inside information about my boys. We often get told that Jack looks identical to Matthew, often. In fact, nearly every time someone sees the boys together, we get told that. Ta-da! Ah, oh, they're my boys. Handsome. So we've got Jack and Matt and Tom. This is actually uh, the very first day he got out of hospital after his hip replacement. You can see his um, crutches in the background. He's, he's doing really well. <laughs> he looks a little bit pale and worn out. Still got his um, hospital tag on. We've literally, it's Father's Day, a Sunday, Father's Day, and he literally got out that morning. We actually sent him to his parents' house to stay just for a couple of nights um, because I thought Jack especially wouldn't really know how to um, be chill and how to let Matt recover. So just while he got used to what it would be like to be at home, we sent him to his mum's and then yeah, he came back to our place. But anyway, using one of the Cocoa Vanilla collections, which is the Cool Kid collection. Sorry, that came out funny, the Cocoa Vanilla. Um, I think it's actually called Cool Kid, this collection. Uh, she's got a whole bunch of some chipboard, some paper, some of the stickers, some flair. Very nice. And then, um, just having a look at these two pieces here. They look a little bit like, um, the Kidaholics Kits exclusive cut apart. So this might have been back when she was still getting her kits. And then she's got a Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file. I'm pretty sure this cut file was made actually to use in conjunction with Father's Day. So that works out well. So very, very nice. So that is my calendar finished. I haven't um, put it together properly yet. It's not actually all laid out the way it's going to be, but you can see just the three Bulldog clips there at the top. Um, the plan, as Katie said, is to do something along the bottom here, just so when you then turn it up, you've got something to hook it onto. Now, I actually ran out of 12 by 12 um, pockets. So December and January are sharing, sharing the same one. So that's January. I know you can't really see. I'll show these properly to you later. February, March, April, May, away June July August September October November and then December I've got to flick that first one back down again so they're just sharing at the moment. If I buy some more pockets in time, I might use a 13th pocket to even that out, but that's kind of working for me. It's a pretty chunky calendar, so we do really need to think about how it's going to hang on the wall. Uh, I'm contemplating just getting a really massive, massive bulldog clip, one of those super huge ones, and using that to like clip right across the top, or even like a coat hanger, like a, a pants hanging coat hanger that can like clip on each end. Not 100% sure yet, but we will see. And we'll show you when we've 100% worked it out, how we are each setting up our um, calendars. So thank you everyone. It has been another wonderful year with you. Um, looking at nothing, so I'll get this back out. It's been another wonderful year with you. Thank you for joining us again. We have really enjoyed this year's advent calendar hopefully you have too and we are sure to do it again next year but we've already been planning a few changes for next year as well so let us know um what you like and dislike about this year's advent calendar and um we'll take that in cons into consideration when we plan our next year's one thanks everyone bye